Good morning, children. Again, we'll continue with the chapter frequency distribution. If you remember, in the previous lecture also, we studied or we discussed about the frequency distribution in which I told you how to classify the data and how to organize the data in the form of statistical series. Now, again here, we'll continue with the cumulative frequency distribution. Now, let me recall what we studied in the previous chapter in brief. In the previous chapter, I told you that statistical series can be arranged in three forms, individual series, discrete series, and continuous series. In the case of individual series, no frequency is given and details about individual values are given in the data, right? Whereas in the case of discrete and continuous series, the frequency of the given data is given or frequency of the given values is given and you have to arrange the data in the form of discrete and continuous variables. And then uh, when you are arranging the data, there are two ways, inclusive method and exclusive method, what we discussed earlier. So in the simple frequencies or in the simple frequency distribution, always the frequencies are given. And you can just make it yourself that when the, whenever the word frequency is given, simple frequency distribution, that means the frequencies are given along with the variable or values, right? Now, in the cumulative frequency distribution, this is another term. Now, what do you mean by cumulative frequency? Cumulative, as the word denotes, it is a added form of frequency. The frequencies are added together in progressively. That means each and every frequency we keep on adding and we show the cumulative added value of the frequency. This is known as cumulative frequency distribution. Now, here you can see the cumulative frequency I have given here. Frequencies are added and expressed in the cumulative form. So, in the cumulative frequency distribution, frequencies are added and expressed in the cumulative form, right? So, these are important points. In the cumulative frequency, whenever the cumulative word is there, you just make up in your mind that cumulative means the added frequencies, right? So, here frequencies are added and expressed in the cumulative form. This is known as cumulative frequency distribution. Now, let me give you an example here. You can see here, the class interval is given, first column, second column frequency, and third column I have given you cumulative frequency. This is denoted as CF. This is a short form of cumulative frequency. Here, this is an imaginary data what I have taken. Class is 10 to 20, then 20 to 30, and so on. And in this case, I have taken the interval of 10, that is equal class interval. And in the class interval of 10 to 20, the frequency is 4. What does it mean? It means that in this class interval, there are 4 number of people or 4 number of, you can say, frequencies. Frequency, any, any variable what I, you are given. Suppose you are taking the marks and the number of students. So, this shows that in class interval of 10 to 20, we have four number of students. Same way, 20 to 30, 6 and so on. So, frequency as I told you earlier also, it is the number of times an item appears in the series. So, here the frequency is given and the class is given. This is class or class interval. That is the same thing. Now, here when you are making the cumulative frequency, then you have to add up these frequencies. First one is 4 and in, in this column, 
first figure you will write down 4 because there is no figure to be added up previous to it. So, first will be 4, this means that in the class interval of 10 to 20, there are total 4, right. Now, 20 to 30, there are 6. You will add up this 4 to 6 and you get 10. What does it mean? That in the class interval 10 to 10, 30, now you have 10. First it was 10 to 20, there were 4. Now, 20 to 30, when you add up, then it becomes 10 to 30. This is the lower limit and this is the upper limit. So, between 10 to 30, we have 10. That is 4 plus 6, that is 10. This is the cumulative form of it. Again, the next one, you will keep on adding like this. 10 plus 10 is 20. 20 plus 15 is 35. 35, 8 is 43. And this way, we get 50. This is known as cumulative form of frequency. And whatever last figure you will get here, this is 50, this will be the total of this. This is a cross check. That means you have added up the frequency in a proper order. You have not missed any calculation or any frequency. So, this way the cumulative frequency are formed. Now, we will take the two types of cumulative frequency. This I have given you class interval of 10 to 20 and 20 to 30 and so on. Now, two types of cumulative frequency are one is less than and second is more than. So, there are two methods of calculating cumulative frequency. One is called less than method, another is more than method. Now, why do we have to take these two methods? What is the use of it? You must be thinking in your mind that why to have the less than and more than? What, what is the use? Let me tell you that when you are learning frequency graphs in the later chapters, then you will understand that we need less than method and more than method of cumulative frequency to plot the graph, right? And let me tell you again that one more thing that cumulative frequency, these are also needed when you are calculating measures of central tendency. That means averages or you can say mean, median, mode or you can say quartile deviation, etc. All these type of calculation when you are doing that we will do in the later chapters, then what whenever you are doing all these type of calculation, then cumulative frequency will make your calculation easier. So, the data is compacted in the form of cumulative frequency and there are two methods less than and more than. Now, we will see what do we mean by less than method and more than method and how do we apply these two methods. First, we will take less than method. Now, what is less than method? In this method, we start with the upper limit of the classes and go on adding the frequencies. As I told you, class interval has two limits. One is called lower limit and second one is upper limit. Lower limit is L1 and upper limit is L2, right? Now, here in less than method, we start with the upper limit. Why do we start with the upper limit? Because we are saying less than particular limit. We are not taking more than particular limit, but we are taking less than particular limit and then we have to take the upper limit, less than the upper limit. And when we take this form, the upper limit, then we go on adding the frequencies. And in the more than method, we start with the lower limit because we have to take that what is more than the lower limit. And then in this form, the frequencies are subtracted from the frequencies of each class. This will be clear when we take the example of this. Then you will be able to understand how do we calculate less than and more than. 
Now here come to this part, this is less than method and second is more than method. Now suppose the class interval is 0 to 10, 10 to 20, so on till last one is 40 to 50 and the frequency is given here. Total number of frequencies are 60. Now when we have to convert this into less than, then as I told you we have to take the upper limits, right? Uh, we have to first take the upper limits. Now here in this case, what are the upper limits? 10 is the upper limit, right? 10 is the upper limit. Second is 20 is the upper limit. So these are the upper limits. Now when we are taking the upper limit, then we have to say less than 10. 10 is the upper limit, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, these are the upper limits. So here we have to say less than 10. Now 0 to 10, there are 4. So how many are less than 10? Obviously 10 is the upper limit, so less than 10 are 4. Clear? Now second limit, less than 20. Now how many are less than 20? Now when we say less than 20, we are taking the upper limit of 20. But we are not indicating the lower limit. It is obvious here, less than 20 means 0 to 20. Less than 20 means whatever figure is there below 20. So between 20, 0 to how many are there? 4 plus 8. So less than 20, you have to write down 4 plus 8, that is 12. Is that clear to you? So this means that less than 20, there are 4 plus 8. Less than 30 will be between 0 to 30. Again 4 plus 8 plus 15, that is 27. This way we accumulate the frequency on the basis of the upper limit. And when we calculate it on the basis of upper limit, it is called less than method and we go on adding the frequency like this. And again the last figure here will be the same as the total of frequency. Have you followed? So this is the less than method. We go on adding the frequency. I'll repeat here. We start with the upper limit of the classes and go on adding the frequency. I think you must have followed by now. The second we come to more than method. Now I am taking here very simple examples, not complicated figures, very simple figures for you so that you can understand the method of calculation in a simple and easy way. There may be complicated figures also when you are actually doing or classifying the data. But here for understanding purpose, these simple figures will make a clear impact in your mind that how it is calculated. So I have taken very simple examples and with these examples try to understand the concept. What does it mean and how the method is applied. And I am sure if you take the simple example and try to understand it step by step, you will be interested in knowing more of it and you will be able to follow it clearly. Right? Now, second we are going to more than method. As I told you, there are two methods of calculating cumulative frequency. Less than we have done. Now we come to second one. Now take the example here. Same example, what we are taking here. Now this example, as I have given you the frequency here, same frequency I have taken here again. Now, as I, given, I have given you earlier that we, in the more than method, we start from the lower limit, right? Remember in the, up, in the less than method, we started from the upper limit. Here we start from the lower limit. Now in this frequency distribution, in this class interval, what is the lower limit? Lower limit is 0. The minimum lower limit is 0. So, 
how many are more than 0? We will take, now this side we will take now. Earlier we have taken this side, now we will take this side. More than 0, 4. Now more than 10, 8. Here, right? Now this is given. This is, this frequency is given. Now on the basis of more than we are doing this. Cumulative frequency, more than 0 are how many? Now in this example, you see that more than 0 are total, all are more than 0. So obviously